Hello. Hola. And <laughs> bonjour, everybody. This is Doug. And Matthew. From Macro Bros Bodybuilding. MB3. <laughs> and we're trying out something new. We got a phone call going on, kind of like a Skype talk thing. I'll put the uh, video side by side so you can just see our actual conversation in ah, real time. Macro Bros Bodybuilding reunited through yes. modern through te technology. Yes. Hopefully no technical difficulties difficulties go on like they always seem to do. But anyway, to get into this video topic, basically, Doug, why don't you explain? <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> Something about the importance of breakfast. Ah, ah, Eating in yes, general, yes. but All breakfast. Right. So guys, you've always been told when you're little that the most important meal of the day is breakfast. I mean, your mom tells you that, uh, your health teacher tells you that, everybody says it. It's just a well-known thing. And people always think that, like, it kick-starts your metabolism and it starts off the fat-burning process and really gives mm -hmm. a head start to your day, a jump start. It really gets kicks off your thinking and you can think better and all that. But the reality of that is it's all personal preference because I think what people tend to think and not realize is they think that your metabolism every day that you start it starts from scratch like let's say you wake up and have breakfast and that just kick starts your metabolism well that's what people think but really your metabolism is more it goes by consistency and how often you do something because it won't like mm -hmm. notice a difference if let's say you miss breakfast five days a week and then eat it on the sixth day, your metabolism won't even notice because it has to be something that's really consistent and every day. And on top of that is, um, it also doesn't matter because, I mean, if you look at different diets like, uh, for example, intermittent fasting, a lot of people use that. And it just shows that meal timing is irrelevant to body composition and fat loss and uh, your metabolism and all that like it really it doesn't make a difference what time you eat your meals or how often like hourly I mean in the beginning when me and Matthew first started cutting I'm starting to realize more <laughs> of this stuff like since this is my third time cutting for a competition But the first time we completely bought into the fact that you have to eat every right. couple hours out of Tupperware And that's exactly what we did. I remember it was tennis season and I would pack, there'd be three different Tupperwares of meals I'd pack and eat them right on the hour. Even my tennis coach would be like, oh, time for Matt's meal. And I'd stop like halfway through practice and eat like, because it's got to be, I thought it had to be on the hour every, you know, three hours. I forget what it even was. It's been so long. But, oh, gee. So you learn things doing it multiple times. And like Doug was saying, that's his third time. And to me, like, the importance of eating breakfast, yeah, not so much about meal timing, but just actually getting food in especially if you're like bulking or something like me I mean I wake up at well I have class early some days but sometimes I wake up at like 12 o'clock like noon and then I'll go eat lunch at 1 and then dinner at like 6 or 7 or 8 and then I'm only having two meals and I fit my workout in there so it's just hard to get my calories in to bulk and then same thing with when you're cutting you wanna have I mean you're gonna wanna have food for energy throughout the day like if you're not if you're waking up early and heading off to school or whatever and only having a little granola bar or even less, it's just not going to be sufficient for, you know, whatever. <laughs> exactly. And, and Matthew's completely right because it really, that's where what I was saying is it really comes down to your preference because a lot of people are, let's say they have breakfast in the morning, it gives them a lot of energy. And that really, like I said, it's it's your personal preference, and that will work for a lot of people. But then other people in the morning, they're really not hungry or anything like that, and they'd rather save their calories. Mm -hmm. But it all depends on what your goals are, whether you feel better doing that or you don't. Or like Matthew said, if you're bulking, then you might want to eat breakfast and eat consistently throughout the day so you can get all your calories in instead of all mm -hmm. in one sitting because that may be a lot harder. To yeah, and it literally is like a chore mm -hmm. to eat. Exactly. And like I remember... Um, when me and Matthew, we were at this seminar with Phil Heath, he said that he, even during bulking, mm -hmm. has to do cardio because if not, he can't eat all of his food because he's just too full and doesn't burn right. anything. I completely forgot about that. That was very true. And yeah, with, um, I know one of my friends, I mean, a lot of my friends actually, 
they do the same thing and they don't eat breakfast not because they don't want to or something but just because eating food in the morning they either can't get it down or they just makes them feel sick and I'm kind of the same way I'll have a granola bar and it'll be hard to actually put it down like right when you wake up I'm not sure what the cause of that is but it's just kind of I like to get up and get going with a shower and I do a couple other things and for some reason then I can put the food down it's kind of an odd thing I'm not sure if other people feel that too so or that's just weird. <laughs> so basically, the point all all we're saying is is it's really up to you. But um, it definitely that statement that breakfast is the most important meal of the day is completely false. So yeah, that pretty much sums up my whole point. But yeah, it's all up to you, whatever you want to do. Yep, as long as you're getting your macros in, basically any way, any time, as long as it's in the 24-hour period or. Whatever, as long as your macros are going in, then you're going to be losing the weight or gaining the weight, whatever your goal is. That's one other thing I wanted to touch on real quick is a lot of people may think, all right, let's say, because it made me think of it since Matthew said in a 24-hour period. So let's say you wake up one day at noon and then go to sleep at, uh, I don't know, 9 o'clock that night. Yeah. And a lot of people may think that, all right, well, if I'm eating, let's say, however many calories a day, that I need less calories if I'm up that long comparatively to if I woke up at like 6 in the morning and then went to bed at 10 o'clock because you're up a lot longer so you think you burn more but no matter how long you are up in the day you still only get the same amount of calories and that's just something that some people uh, confuse because you think if you're up longer you're burning more which may be true but you still can only get the same amount I guess as if you were only up like for 10 hours yeah that's pretty random, but I just thought of it. <laughs> well, that pretty much sums up the video, I think. Yep. So. Uh, yep, I hope you guys enjoy this new kind of style of video. We might be doing it more often. And if you guys like this video, you can actually like it. You can throw it on a comment. And even subscribe. Well, remember, <laughs> there's always more on the way. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, so I like to keep it pretty simple. Um, as you guys know, I love these spinach flour tortillas. I got some pretty lean ground beef, 93.7. Some Idaho potatoes, some chicken breast, 